Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Cami. So for today's video, I wanted to do my March favorites. March has probably been the longest month for absolutely all of us. It's actually been like a whole year. But we're at the end of it and now it's April, so hopefully better things come for April. I know this is a really weird time to talk about makeup. I even feel a little weird talking about makeup with everything going on in the world, but I know this is a distraction for you and me. And I'm just hoping to give you a little ounce of happiness in your day if I can do that. I have, I have accomplished what I wanted to do. Because I am home all day today, I did not shower my hair, kind of doing that whole like not sharing your hair as often. So my hair is in a little bun today. I know you've never seen me like this, but I figured I'd rock the top knot bun today. And yeah, so let's just get it. The first item I'm going to start out with is the Judy's Place Concealer in the shade 18. This is one of my favorite concealers along with the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. Those two are my top favorite concealers of all time. This just is so creamy and blends out perfectly. And the thing that I find that is most important to me, along with the creaminess and the non-creasing of a concealer, is a doe foot applicator. I've just noticed that I tend to gravitate towards larger doe foot applicators than like smaller ones. So this one has one of the larger ones, just like the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. And this tube is gigantic. Like in comparison to the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, this is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer and this is the Juvia's Place Concealer. The tube is just massive. So you get so much product in this concealer, it's not even funny. And it's not expensive at all. It's within the drugstore price range, and you can find it at Ulta or Ulta.com or on JuviusPlace.com. So I highly recommend this. The next item I have are two blush palettes. I have been gravitating towards more blush palettes lately than individual blushes, and I think that's because I like mixing blushes together. So the first one I have is the Saharan Blush Volume 3 palette by Juvia's Place. This palette is really good for medium to darker skin tones because these blushes are not light at all. If you see the swatches, the matte blushes don't really swatch that well, but they go on your cheeks beautifully, so that doesn't really matter to me. And it comes with two like shimmery blushes, so they're really good for blush toppers or even for highlighters depending on how dark of your skin tone you have. But these colors are beautiful and very unique in my opinion because this brown you don't normally see in a blush color, along with this red. It's a very unique blush color and I've never really seen anything like it. I mean the pink is normal, shimmery blushes are kind of normal colors. And then this one's a little bit darker. I mean you see mauve blushes, but this is much more purple, so I think it's kind of a unique color. But this palette as a whole is really beautiful and very inexpensive because it's, it's Juvia's Place, just like the concealer. So I highly recommend this and you can find it at Ulta or Juvia's Place, like the concealer. The second blush palette I have is a little bit more expensive. Actually, it's probably a lot more expensive than the Juvia's Place, but just as beautiful. And this is the Scott Barnes Blush Palette, and it has so many beautiful colors in it, and I really love the orange color in here. I find that very unique. You don't see that in any other palettes, rarely ever any singles. So I love mixing all these blushes. So there's just so many beautiful colors in here. And I actually have this on my face right now along with the Juvia's Place Concealer. I have a mixture of Minimalist and Mango Fizz on my face. And I love mixing Mango Fizz with anything else. Pretty much when I dip into this palette, I will definitely use Mango Fizz because it's such a unique color. And then I'll just like mix it with other colors. It just blends beautifully and is pigmented and soft. And it's just, it's gorgeous. And I highly recommend this palette if you are willing to spend the money. It is a little steep, but I used Afterpay, so it wasn't like a whole chunk of money. A lot of people were talking about it probably around last year, and so I knew I had to pick it up, and I have been loving it ever since I picked it up. Just like that blush palette, I also purchased the bronzer palette. And I know I've talked about this many, many, many times, so I won't drag on but this is his bronzer palette. And I was never, prior to this, really into bronzers. I was like, okay, I, I like my physician's formula, so I just kept using that one. I never really experimented with it until I got this palette. And there's just so many tones that you can mix around with and play around with. And it's really a unique palette, in my opinion, because 
you don't really see like the bronzers having this red color or this yellow brown color or really anything like this and you can definitely mix it depending on your skin tone and play around with what's best for your face or what you're feeling for that day and so I really love this palette and if you have the money and are interested in playing around with different bronzers, I highly recommend it. Yeah, I won't drag on too much because I know I talk about this all the time. The next thing I have is the Jaclyn Hill The Flash palette. So when I heard about this, I was like, I don't need it. I have so many blush palettes, not going to do anything, like I don't need it. And I convinced myself for months and months and months to not get it, but I kept thinking about it. I just kept always like... Whenever I go to the Morphe store, I would like look at it and whenever I saw other people using it, I was like, oh, I really want it, but I don't need it, I don't need it, I don't need it. And then when I bought the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2, they were having a deal where if you bought a palette, you get a free brush and so I kind of just caved. But I do not regret anything. I love this palette. It's absolutely gorgeous. I have this on my face as well. And I also forgot that I have the Scott Barnes palette on my face as a bronzer. So yeah, I have this on my face as well and the highlight is just so gorgeous and it just blends into your skin so seamlessly and I have been absolutely loving using this did I need it no does anyone really need it no but if you are thinking about it I do recommend it and it's it's beautiful I can't say anything else the next item I have are these eyeshadows by e.l.f. The e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadows. Are you really surprised that I have them? Probably not. I do talk about these palettes a lot, so I won't drag on about them, but I now also have the Pumpkin Pie Quad. I purchased it recently, so now I have all of them except for the Acai U, which is the blue one, so I don't think I will be purchasing that because blue shadows are not my vibe. They're great. They're perfect. They're cheap. They're blendable. They're shimmering. I have a mixture of the brown shade of Carnival Candy in my crease, and then I have the rose water shimmery shades on my lid, and then I have the truffles dark brown color in my outer corner. So I just love mixing and matching these palettes and they're just, they're beautiful and I will not talk about them anymore or switch them because I talk about them all the time. Highly recommend these, like always, go get you some, it's very inexpensive, love them. The next item I have is the ColourPop BFF Volumizing Mascara. I bought this when I was doing my first letter of your name challenge and I fell in love with this. I have been a ride or die better than sex mascara by Too Faced and this has probably been one of the first mascaras that I tried that I've loved ever since that and it really volumizes my lashes and I have it on right now but it makes my lashes look so thick and so voluminous. It's exactly what I want and it's kind of a clumpier mascara which is why it kind of makes your lashes look more voluminous. There is some clumping with this but I don't mind because I prefer that rather than not clumping and not volumizing. I really love this. If you're looking for uh, volumizing mascara to make your lashes look thicker, this is the one. I've really been into the nude lips lately. So during Black Friday, I bought the KKW Lip Liner in Nude 2. I've never really been a lip liner person. Ever since I purchased this lip liner and tried it, I have fallen in love with the KKW lip liners. I find that a lot of lip liners are kind of stiff and kind of scratchy on my lips and I don't like that at all. But this KKW one is very smooth and very waxy. So it just glides on your lips perfectly while giving you such a beautiful color. It's pretty much my perfect nude color to line my lips with. And it's just, it's great. I have like three other lip liners by KKW. I really highly recommend this line of lip liners if you're looking for something that's not drying and still comfortable and glides on your lips perfectly. Another favorite of mine is the ColourPop Just The Tip Lippy Crayons. I probably use this all the time. Again, won't talk about it that much. This is one of my favorite lip products to use because it glides on your lips and it gives you just a like a very small hint of color while being very moisturizing on your lips. And I have this color in Z Boys and it's down to the nub. Whenever I just want like a simple lip color, I just put this on and I actually have this and the KKW lip liner on right now. If you're just looking for like a little hint of color with moisturization, I highly recommend this. Alright, so because I've been not 
washing my hair as often. I have really been into the dry shampoo world and this is the Batiste Dry Shampoo Instant Hair Refresh with hints of color, Divine Dark. So I used to try a lot of dry shampoos but they would leave like a white residue in my hair and I hated that because it really honestly looked like I had dandruff and no one wants that look. So I love this because it comes out in a darker color and it doesn't show when you like, you know, blend it into your hair. And it really volumizes my hair a lot. Like when I spray it and then rub it in, it just poofs up my hair. It's it's great and it smells really, really good. I've been really loving this to refresh my hair a little bit between the days that I do wash my hair. If you are like me and have really dark hair, this is really good and it will not show the white residue and make you look like you have dandruff. I've also been loving these Beaky sponges from Amazon. They actually came in a pack of five and I've used every single sponge except for this yellow one. It comes in this pack right here and you get five of the different colors. They come in like blue, purple, pink, yellow, and another color that I can't remember, but these are really great sponges and there's like $8.99 for all five of these. So like that's a deal you can't beat. I love the pointy little edge because it can get right in there. I like to switch out my sponges quite often. I do not like using sponges for too long because I just think about all that griminess in there. This is really good because you don't spend too much on one sponge and then just throw it away after like a couple weeks. I highly recommend these if you're looking for an inexpensive sponge. Next, I have two brushes that I've been loving. I talked about the Jaclyn Hill, the flash palette, and I said how I got a free brush with it. And this is the brush that I got. It is the Jaclyn JO2 that is supposed to work for the flash palette. It's so tiny and precise that you can just put the, the highlight right there, and if it's right on my cheeks perfectly, because I do have like thicker cheeks but a smaller face. I've been loving using this, and it's just so easy and so light, and the brush handle is just so beautiful too. It's like a silver sparkle. Is this worth the price that Jacqueline is selling it? No, but I got it for free. So I love it. And if you can get your hands on it, if you can get it for a cheaper price or get it for free like I did, I highly recommend it. This brush right here is my favorite, favorite blending brush of all time. This is the Morphe X Jeffree Star JS5. This is the brush that came in its first brush launch. So it has a little like crystallized brush handle. They do sell this in the regular packaging with like just the pink handle. I actually bought another one of this with that just regular pink handle because I love this brush so much. It's such a great blending brush for your crease. I have really small eyes so a lot of brushes are either too big and just like overtakes my whole eye or they're too small and the, the small ones are really good to precisely put shadow where you want it and I put on a crease color I just want it to like diffuse out and just like blend perfectly so this shape is perfect for my small eyes and blends out beautifully with any crease color so I highly recommend this if you're looking for a brush and you have smaller eyes. The next thing I have is this razor. I bought a pack of three on Amazon. I typically like going to the salon, getting my eyebrows waxed and my lip waxed, but because the salons are closed due to the, the time that it is, I have turned to a razor like this to kind of like shave off my little lady stash, if you so call it. It's perfect for that or for your eyebrows. I don't really use it for my eyebrows because it's kind of a bigger razor so I can't really precisely get in there. You could probably do it at the top but I just, I use tweezers to fix my eyebrows. You can see even like that little hair right there is going, going crazy. But I love this and I highly recommend it especially if you are really wanting to like shave your face of all the peach fuzz and your lady stash too in this time where you can't go to the salon and get it done. The last thing I wanted to talk about is this book. It is called Getting Back to Happy by Mark and Angel Chernoff. I am about halfway through the book, but I already recommend it. It's such a good book. I went through a phase last year where I just couldn't figure out what was wrong and I couldn't figure out why I wasn't happy or anything like that. So then I got this book and I started reading it and it really helped. And I think in this time that we're in, it's really good to read a book like this and getting back to happy. So this book is just about changing your perspective on life and 
changing your views on everything going on around you and things you can't control. This is a good book to read if you're wanting something to kind of like get your mind off of everything and just to change your views. So I highly recommend this. It has five star reviews on Amazon. It's really good. I haven't finished it yet, but I already recommend it and it's helped immensely in this time period and from my month per month. So that is my March favorites. Let me know down below if you have anything that you love that I loved or anything that you love that you think I would love too. I hope I gave you a little bit of happiness today or a little bit of a distraction today in a world that's just absolutely chaotic. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!